Welcome to this review of Lindemann's Bin 45 Cabernet Sauvignon. Now we did the red blend. I don't have much left of that. I really liked it, the Bin 55. This is the Bin 45 Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 13.5% alcohol as well. And they got art by David Bromley. Track the bottle. They had these on sale at Matherns for $2.99. So I bought these four. Product of Australia, red wine. Um, 2017 edition bold. Not seeing video reviews for the for this too much, so y'all gotta get on it. Do some Lindemann wine video reviews. Now, when you get on the website, they'll have a PDF file that'll be brought up, give you a lot more in-depth information about the wine, um, give tasting notes, and food pairings. I don't want to read the tasting notes until I do the review because I don't want to be influenced by it. So we've got red, that's like a brown. Well, that's like brick red, and then blue, and aqua turquoise, I think. Dark red, uh, burgundy color, alcohol legs, so high alcohol. Very tannic. Cabernet Sauvignon sort of puts me off sometimes because it's Sometimes because it's so heavily tannic. It's like strong grape skins. But then on the other hand, you appreciate the meaty, the robust character of it. Kind of tough guy wine. I don't mean tough guy strength, it's just that's how it presents itself. <clears throat> yeah. It has this. It was Kansas City Southern Railroad. It has those meaty characteristics. It's strong, bold is a good word. Isn't that what it says? Rit oh, bold, yeah, bold. <laughs> That's right. Um, hefty. I think the Cabernet Merlot would be interesting, sort of a middle ground, and then the Merlot is going to be nice. Do I want to try some of their rosé and white wines? Yes, but I want to catch them on a sale, an incredible sale like that. It's very dry. Not totally so, but mostly dry. Even with the bold outburst at the beginning of each sip, it sort of mellows out as it tails off. So it does close out pretty nice and mild. Starts off bold, but it closes out soft. <laughs> How about that? Um, I really have been enjoying drinking the red blend. Drink a little bit every day, just but like that much that I had served today. So this is for to this day. I think I'm going to enjoy this just as much. Didn't chill it. Just got it setting out in a room temperature. And I think that's the way to go. Now if it specifically says serve chill, well, yes, of course, I'll do that. What would I score it? I like that little bit velvety mouthfeel. I guess a 94 out of 100 would be, 94 out of 100 would be a fair score. A most excellent product for, for a world-class price. So most excellent, yummy, and lazy les bon temps relate. I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>